Hello everyone. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be taking a look at one of the core texts of Confucianism, the Great Learning, or Da Xue, which is contained within the Book of Ritual, or the classic ritual, the Li Ji. It's generally attributed to one of Confucius' disciples, Zeng Zi, or Master Zeng. The dates of his life are give, I give here on the, uh, on the text. But we're actually not sure of the actual authorship of this text, so I put a little asterisk here to just note that maybe this was written or compiled by Zeng Zi, Maybe it wasn't. Now, let's just dive right into the text so we can get, get reading. So I have the title here, underline it. So the Da Xue. We already know that Da means large. We've seen it in some other videos. And if you haven't, if this is your first video with us, I'll write it down here. It means something like large or great. And Xue means to study, or in this case as a noun, it means something like learning. So what we have is this text is called the great learning, right? So I'll write that up here. The great learning. Awesome. Now this is from a larger text called the Li Ji. So Li is ritual. Now, I say that it means ritual, but so what do I mean by ritual? It goes back to like even prior to the Zhou Dynasty. So the earliest stages of, of Chinese history, the idea of certain ritualistic practices which might be aimed at cultivating the self, it might be aimed at uh, venerating the ancestors, a whole variety of things. But so this text is talking about many different prescriptions for these different rituals, right? And so Ji, the other character in the title, actually means something like record. So we could call it the record of rituals. And we could actually even break that down to talk about our grammar. If I bring this up here, put a little arrow, we could actually say that this is an example of attribution where we have li, zhi, ji. It is a record, right? It is a record. A record of what? A record of ritual. Great. So now we understand the title. Right, and this is just the name of the of the alleged author, Zheng Zi. So I'll put that just over here. Zheng Zi. Or Master Zheng, if you want. Okay, so now for the text. We already have Da Xue, right? We know that that's great learning. And we have actually another attribution here, the same as the that our supposed attribution up here or hidden attribution, I should say. And then we have this other character, which if we've seen the other videos, uh, we know it as the way. The basic meaning is road or way, but it can also mean guidance. And that's actually it being used in the place of another character, which I'll write here, which means to guide. They're homophonous, and so we actually very commonly see one being used for the other. So if we break this apart, we have the guidance or the way, whichever one we want to read it as. I'll read it as guidance. And then what kind of guidance? It is the guidance of the great learning. You could even further break this apart into da zhi xue Zhi Dao, right? It's actually just two attributions. It is the guidance or way. What kind of guidance or way? The guidance or way of learning. What kind of learning? Great learning. So it's the guidance of the great learning. Great. So that's actually our topic. It's the topic. So if we've seen some of the other videos that I've talked about, classical Chinese is a topic comment style language where we have some kind of topic and then we make some comments about it. So our topic here is the guidance of the great learning or the way of the great learning. What about it? These are our comments over here. So zai 
it can mean to be, to exist. It can mean to be in, like in a locative sense. Then we have two of the same character, which we might have already seen before in another video, Ming. The basic meaning is bright. But actually, we have two different separate usages of bright in this case. One is a, as an uh, action verb, an active verb, and another as an attributive, as a stative verb. So bright as an adjective is actually a stative verb. But we can also have this verb take an object. And when that's the case, it means to make bright. What does that mean? That means to clarify, to explain, to illustrate. So I'll put to illustrate. Okay. Now let's look at this last character here, de. De means virtue. It's a really loaded term, and I won't go into the details here. We'll suffice to say that it's virtue. As you watch some of my other videos or read on your own, you can develop your own idea of what virtue might mean in different contexts because different people actually have different ideas of what virtue actually is. For our case of just reading this text, we'll just translate it as virtue, right? So what do we have here? We have the topic of the guidance of the great learning. It is in Ming Ming Du. Okay. So first we have an attributive that we'll take apart. We have Ming De, which is literally Ming. Oh, little writing mistake here. Ming Zhi De. What does that mean? That means bright virtue, or perhaps illustrious virtue. Just as we could translate the verb as to illustrate, we could also then translate the stative verb or adjective as illustrious illustrious virtue. You can come up with your own explanation for what that actually means or read more to develop an idea of what perhaps other Confucians might think it means. But for now, suffice to say, it is illustrious virtue. And what are we doing to illustrious virtue? We actually have a verb object, which is actually Ming, and then put together Ming De as our object. So what does that mean? To illustrate illustrious virtue. So taken together, these four characters here mean that we have the topic, the guidance of the great learning. It is in illustrating illustrious virtue. Really kind of conceptually dense kind of statement there, but you can start to develop your own idea of what that is as we read more. Okay, again, we see that it's also in something else. It is in qin min. So qin is our verb. Put a little verb here. Qin is our verb. And min is our noun. We've seen noun, uh, we've seen this noun, min, in other places. It means people. And what does qin mean as a verb? It means to bring together. The basic meaning is like closeness, being close. Uh, it's also used for um, familial relations, right? Your, your qin are actually your family, the people who are close to you. Okay, so in addition to illustrating illustrious virtue, the guidance of the great learning is also in bringing people together. Okay, and again, we have the same zai. It's also in something else. What is it in? So zhi is something like to stop. Yu is actually a grammar that we're going to need to know, and that's a locative. Something like in or on. Zhi. It can mean to stop as well, very similar to zhi. But in this case, it means utmost, the limit. So related to 
stopping. It's something like the stopping point, the farthest point that you're going to go to. So we'll take it as utmost here. And then shan. Something like good, but even more than good, it's like excellent. Okay? So, zhi, shan is actually an attributive again. So we can think of that as the utmost zhi, excellence. What kind of excellence? The utmost excellence. Okay? And then we have a locative. So if we have, I'll add it onto the locative here. If we have the locative and then a noun, that means in noun. I'll just use my normal n instead of noun. In noun, on noun, at noun, just signifying some type of locative relation. Okay, so in this case, we have in utmost excellence, or on or at utmost excellence. And what are we doing? We are stopping at the utmost excellence. So if we bring this all together, we have one topic with three comments. Our topic is, as for the guidance or way of the great learning, it is in illustrating illustrious virtue. It is in bringing people together, bringing people close. And it is in stopping at the utmost excellence. Right. So that's the first line in the great learning. And I'll pick up in the next video on the next line, which is actually really, really interesting. So I hope you come back to see that one as well. Thank you, everyone. And I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.